Hey there, just uh, wanted to update you on the U8 watch, which uh, I got a while ago. Now you've probably seen a lot of these floating around on the web now, um, on eBay, they're very cheap. You can get some, some uh, as low as you know, 7 $8, and then there's others that are closer to 15 16 and 20 um, and of course that's because you know there's a lot of clones and knockoffs now available on the web, uh, and you know the problem is you don't know what you're buying. Especially if you get an $8 one, um, you know, they're probably going to be missing parts inside. So I'm going to go over this one. Uh, I'll just zoom in here. Hopefully you can see okay. There we go. Okay, so let's turn this thing on. Okay, there's the watch. It might be a bit blurry because the focus on the camera is not great. Uh, but it should be enough for you to see what's going on. So we've got um, in the menu here you'll see a bunch of apps. Now most of these things are fake, they're not really doing anything. Um, you know, there is a companion app that goes on your Android phone, which I won't trust. I don't, I don't know what it's doing in the background, um, you know, with your data and, and spyware and such, but um, you know, the basic functionalities are there, you know, under settings. You've got, uh, you know, things to control your language, uh, your, your clock face and so on. But you'll notice some of these apps if you go over to say sleep monitor, this to me looks like basically just a, uh, a, a stopwatch or a, you know you press start and then it says good. And I, I mean there's no, in order to cheapen the uh, device they've probably left out the motion detector or accelerometer and there's also a missing vibrating uh, uh, module the vibration motor is gone too, which we're going to open up and see. But, you know, it doesn't really change. It says good all the time. I've tested before. It doesn't do anything. It's just basically a, an incremental stopwatch. Uh, same with pedometer. Watch. I'm going to start this, and I'm not moving at all. And, you know, at first you, you're tempted to shake it and see what happens. And look, shaky, shaky, shaky. Lo and behold, oh, six steps. Hmm, that's interesting. Ten steps. Okay. So you tell me how that happened. I haven't moved this thing at all. I'll tell you how it happened. The algorithm in this thing is designed to fake the number of steps. Okay? There aren't, there's no, this thing is not moving at all and there's no module in here. We've already taken 46 steps. Okay? So this is basically a joke and, you know, this screen, it's all fake. This is something you can trick your, you know, kids with and stuff. Okay? It'll just keep running in the background too, by the way, if you get out... And you go back. I mean, that's a good feature. At least, you know, there, it's doing stuff in parallel here. Let's reset that. Okay, stopwatch is as you'd, you know, expect a stopwatch, which is not bad. You know, it has at least that functionality. Calculator works, which is fine. It's quite simple, though. It doesn't have too many functions. Okay, then you have uh, <clears throat> Bluetooth uh, connects to your phone. phone the uh, phone book will pick up some of your Bluetooth entries. The dialer is basically a phone dialer. And messaging, I don't trust that very well. I guess um, you could potentially message through it. I haven't tried it because, again, I didn't, and neither have I tried the notifier. Uh, I have tried BT Music, you know, for just controlling some simple, um, you know, the, when the phone's playing Bluetooth. Uh, music, uh, you know, over Bluetooth, you can pause, rewind, and such. All right. So let's keep going. Um, okay, back to if you have your companion app, Capture will basically load your camera up on your phone and then let you remote, uh, you know, release shutter. So it lets you take a picture without touching your phone. So you could set up your phone somewhere, walk away from it, as long as you're within Bluetooth range, you hit capture, it'll take a picture. Okay, back to this thing. Um, <clears throat> so if we go back to apps, a couple more fake apps. Sorry, let's go back. Okay, there's something called uh, sedentary, okay, which will basically remind you to get up at certain times. And you can see that it says alert type vibe there's no vibrating motor so it doesn't do anything you got to make sure you don't use that drink is again just a a number of um, reminders come on yeah see they're just basically reminders you can set up to tell you to drink it's nothing more than an alarm but just customized already 
uh, you know, same as alarm, you have different times you can set. Um, and then you have, yeah, and that's basically it. So sedentary, drink, alarm, they're all kind of functioning the same way. Um, and, you know, obviously, because it's missing some sensors, your pedometer is not really doing anything, and neither is the, uh, uh, the sleeping sedentary thing. The sleep monitor and, uh, I mean, that's supposed to see if you're moving, right, during sleep. You wear the watch, so it's obviously not able to do anything. So it lies and just says good, and the pedometer, same thing. Uh, okay, now, to show you what's inside here, I've already pried this little thing open slightly. I'm going to zoom out a bit, and we'll have a look inside. And I'm based on other videos that I've seen online, uh, you know, where there should be a module underneath here. I think we'll see this big glaring opening. A hole so we'll get in here and remove the four screws on the back okay there goes one here's goes number two now this thing was eight dollars and you know it's worth the cost I mean don't get me wrong I think for eight bucks it's not a bad little toy I mean it I use it as a remote Bluetooth to talk, uh, you know, if I just don't want to get my phone out of my pocket, if I just need to quickly dial up a voicemail or something, I can use it. So I'm not, you know, I'm not complaining about that. It's it's for eight dollars, definitely it's worth the cost. My only beef is that I wish I knew which ones worked and which ones didn't, and which ones were fake on eBay because I would gladly pay, you know, even more, perhaps even up to twenty, twenty-five bucks for one that actually has all of those functions built in and not faked at least I if I know what I'm getting right that's that's the thing okay so here we are and that's the inside there you'll notice a big whopping battery here that looks kind of bloated but you know I'm sure that happens that's connected there to a chip uh, well actually that's the I think that's a display driver but you have a few glaring omissions. For example, right here should be a vibration motor, and it's not. This is the speaker. It's quite loud. And you can even see in here, tucked away, it says vibe. I'll see if I can zoom in. But uh, that thing is not populated. Right here, it says vibe plus and minus, and there's nothing there. Okay? Um... And there's also, let's see, that's there's a Bluetooth module. What is this? That's the antenna. I don't see anything connected to BT plus and minus. There's just a wire hanging loose here. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming that's the antenna. And then this is, of course, the speaker right in there. Okay. So anyway, let's put this thing back together. And... Uh, if I can remember how it went, I'm assuming like, oh, and this is the microphone is this little unit right there, okay? So let's put this back together, okay? I'll zoom out again so you can see. And I mean, they packed this thing in here quite tightly. I don't want to pierce through my battery pack. So I got to get these screws in just right. Okay. I think I think I got this uh lined up okay. There we go. We'll do this side and then this side. Okay. There's one more screw that I'm going to need to put in here right over here okay so again uh, you know there are other similar watches out there I think they're all using kind of the same uh, chips and design and software um, it's there's the DZ09 I've seen there's also the Y1 uh, there's a few other variations they're all very very cheap and again nothing wrong with the cost I mean I'm, I'm glad that they are producing such cheap watches uh, you know to let people play around at least with uh, having 
a, a smart quote unquote watch. Um, the only disappointment I have is that I have no idea what um, the watch that I'm getting is, and that's that's a big problem because you know, like I like I said, if you're buying a watch, you know, one of these online, you have no idea what you're getting. Okay, I mean this. The other thing that I noticed with this one is at midnight, and even if it's 12 hour mode, instead of going, you know, let's say it's 11:59 uh, p.m. And then it goes to, it's supposed to be 12 a.m. It does 0, 0, 0, 0. It doesn't put 12 here. It puts 0, 0. Whereas another, the other watch that I have, this one here, which is another uh, same kind of thing, from, an, from the same uh, box, from the same um, sort of, uh, I guess it would be the order, it has very different design like the font is different the the settings are different you know the battery indicator is different the menus are different so you don't know what you're getting you could be getting anything these came in the same shipment purportedly from the same same looking box same supplier same everything two different watches and you know I don't you don't know what you're getting and that's the problem it, you know there's just no reliable way to know what exactly is in the watches and you know you can't trust any of the sellers giving you you know what they're claiming so you know for the cost if you put in power save mode and you don't really use the bluetooth function so far my testing has shown the, the watch is pretty much running possibly two two and a half three days without any problems um you know obviously if you start using it for calls and bluetooth as soon as you turn the bluetooth on the battery life drops significantly I don't think you'll get more than 10, you know, 8, 10 hours. And I haven't done full testing on it yet, but when I do, I'll report back on that. But if you, if you turn off the Bluetooth and you're just basically having sitting it there, you know, with the screen off and you check in once in a, in a while to check the time, it will last like this for a good two and a half days. And, but the battery indicator there is basically useless. I noticed that for two of those, you know, two and a half days, it indicated full battery. So I had no way to know what was going on. And then all of a sudden, it just dropped, you know, precipitously. So, again, I don't know if that's... I did turn on the Bluetooth, so it may have uh, contributed to that. But for this, you know, if you want the same function of this, and if, if the uh, smart capabilities are really pointless on these cheap $8 watches... You're better off getting something like this, you know, which is a uh, my daily uh, watch that I wear all the time. It's basically, um, you know, it's got a 10-year battery life. It costs maybe 25, 30 bucks. This thing's waterproof down to quite a, a deep depth. You don't have to worry about charging it. It has a light. You don't have to turn it on. You just glance at your wrist. It'll take a beating, as you can see here. It's been through a lot. It has all your basic functions, right? Several alarms, stopwatch, dual time, um, and so on. So if all you need is something to watch, to look at the time with, which is essentially what this thing is for, you know, as well, it has a few extra functions in it, you know, I wouldn't bother spending more than a few bucks on this. But um, again, it's. Uh, I look forward to reporting back on some more testing, but there you have it. Buyer beware, if you pick up a U8 or any other of those smartwatches like the DZ09 or Y1, um, really don't expect everything to work, depending on, you know, even if you're paying more, you can't guarantee that it's going to have the vibrating motor in it and the so motion sensor, um, so, you know, maybe it's best just to hold off and get something reliable uh, that you can either return or test out in person, otherwise, if you buy a cheap one, you can't tell. Most likely it won't have anything in it because they're just stripping it all of the, all the components to keep the cost down. But if you pay more, the problem is you don't know if you're going to get it either. It might just be the company that's selling it to you getting more profit. You have no way to know for sure that they're even delivering you a higher cost one with the goods inside. So there you have it. Okay. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.